I have been seeing a lot of videos talking about not only how the vaccine, the jab, is the mark, but also incorporating the whole CERN deal. And I'm here to tell you, the jab ain't the mark of the beast. And why I believe that, let's get into it. First of all, you need to understand that there may be something behind it because when you study the seven churches, the seven seals, the third church, which was Pergamos, which was during the time frame of Constantine, and the era during that time, the priests that were in Pergamos fled from Babylon, where they also worshiped Asclepius, the serpent god which can be seen in the symbol, the medical symbol, and pharmakia. But I digress. So you have to understand who is going to be enforcing the image and the mark. And that can be found in Revelation 13, starting at verse 11. The Bible says that this entity, which is lamb-like, but will eventually speak as a dragon, will give its power to the first beast. And the first beast is in Revelation 13, starting in verse 1. So there are 10 proof points identifying who the sea beast is. Proof 1. Proof 2. Proof three, proof four, proof five, proof six, proof seven, proof eight, proof nine, and proof ten, which can be seen here. So the, the second beast, the beast rising out of the earth, is the United States of America. The two horns is our civil and religious liberties. And you will notice that these two horns will remain intact. They will not be broken. So we, as the United States, will be professing civil and religious liberties while we speak as a dragon. We will repudiate every single principle that we were founded upon. We will then form an image to the beast, which is uniting church and state. The mark of authority is not the shot. It will be over worship and the Sabbath. 